theology is my bullet. Yeah, psychology is my gun. So if you have only theology, you have only bullet. You do not have the gun. <laughs> Sometimes you cannot use effectively the bullet. So without Paul, it's useless. If you have only gun without the bullet, it's also useless. But you can use the gun to hammer and knock somebody. But you cannot use the bullet, you know. So I have actually divided my presentation since I gave it an hour, I think, you know, 30 minutes for theoretical discussion and 30 minutes for demo. The best way to learn a skill is by demo. Now, the better way to learn it, to present the skill is demo. But the best way to learn it is by actual doing practical skills. Thank you. 
saints. I don't think that is it. God wants us to pray for His time. Pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. You know, when I pray, I pray, Lord, help me. Help me that I, that your spirit may use my experience. So, somebody make sure that if you are prepared, you can surrender it to the Lord by right now. Surrender all your preparations, including your experience. My son, give me thy heart and let thy eyes observe what it is. But he shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come. This is to mean that when we preach, we receive the Holy Spirit. Actually, the disciples who have received the Holy Spirit, they did not need training anymore. They were able to speak different languages. And they were able to hear the Jesus. And more than that, they were able to reach the dead. That's how important the Holy Spirit is. But to be restricted to training according to any one, simply because this has not defeated the work of the Holy Spirit. So to make a difference, we keep on training. So we train evangelists, we train nurses, we train accountants, we train doctors for this purpose. But still, the Holy Spirit is available to them. So we ask this to examine yourselves, therefore, to God, resist the evil. Resist the evil. Because when the work of God is being done, Satan is also working. That's why this one is very important. He is also acting. If you are 100% acting, Satan is 200%. Because he knows his enemy and his God. So she has to double the effort. So by all means, right? Some evangelists will say, okay, if you are presenting the gospel, some of my, 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 my trainer, Pastor Pike Pamang, he will always instruct us during the public evangelism, you have a projector, the way. You must have two projectors, two subsystems. It seems that we destroy the other one, you still have one. Not only one microphone, two. It's so that you have another. I usually do this in the wind break more tunes, you see. I always prefer two computers and some systems. That's what it means, huh? Resist, find my people resisting the river. Because the world is hard when God's work is being done. He doesn't like the work of God. Okay. Maybe I'll just leave this one. Preparation of materials, the basic tools, Bible, prepare the one before God. That's very important. You want to call that. Or prepare your Bible so that you say, Paul, why? Because when somebody asks, you can impact them on your mind. Search a picture. Or the one. I don't know. I'm going to test my hand. What's the best I'm looking for? You type the word in your computer. It's very easy. But you see what I do is, I did not take my Bible. Uh, yeah, I'm not reading. Who's different thing is here? Yeah, in my Bible, in my Bible, I actually put all the texts, the topics, here, here. I did not read my Bible, it's all about it. Not that I'm being young, all the people that you can take all the way down, the doctrine is not right. If I will have a miss, if I forget the text, I will go to the topic, and I will make it like that, okay? Because if you have memorized all the texts in our doctrines, you can practically answer 100% all the questions. All the questions of the people just revolve around the Cambridge doctrine. So if you memorize that, that gives you confidence. Of course, not setting aside the Holy Spirit. But you know, very interesting when you give Bible study. I don't know. Outside Bible studies, there are texts I don't remember. But during actual Bible studies, there are texts that I have never read. How do I do that? But it's not my ability. It's the Holy Spirit who gives me exact answers. I exact in the text are accurate. And this inspires you. If you feel and you know and you are aware that the Holy Spirit is using you. Okay. But Bible to Korea, Bible to study God. By the way, when you present the Bible, when you study, do not bring the Bible to study. Allow the main man to do that, but not the experienced student. Not the UP student. 
the, the, the room is noisy, well, just open your eyes. Jesus was able to be friendly to all kinds of people. It's not like that. How do you show interest in everyone who is met and trying to be the spirit of God? There's so many circumstances. May I be friendly to all people? How do you do that? Come on. I want an answer to that. You know, it's like two. The last of them. Or situation is number one with you. Uh, let me give you one. There was a literature in one day. Each one was actually noisy. There was so many things. There was singing. You know what the literature in one day is? He peeked at the window. And he saw a ball. An opening. And he actually put the back of He inserted the back in the window. He no longer used to break himself. And everybody was to go, oh, there is a bad thing in here. The attention was taken. They read the book, you know, I'm right next to them. He said, who owns this? I think that's how to teach it. But why do you have a more nice to meet them? And he started talking. There's a technique, man. Technique. He broke the book. You take the risk. If they did not get out and they take the book, they'll go on to you. Thank you. 
church. Let me go out to Mr. Martin and I. Let me just show you what's going on today. Maybe this is also very important. Perspective for Bible studies. Children of church members, please. Close relatives of church members. Graduates of Bible and Spanish course. Interests of corporate church. For your information, I've been doing urban evangelism. We're very good by good students. They are actually in the rest of the church of evangelists. I conducted the Revelation Seminar in Malaya. They are all our customers of the church of evangelists. In Bilbao, right now, it will be concluded tonight. Second session in Bilbao. They are all our customers of the church of evangelists. Because they make friends with these people. So, make friends with the church of evangelists. Interest of hospital or medical outreach. From Sabbath school interests, Sabbath school members who are not yet church members. Teach and finding by good states. Distribute a series of tracts or a single tract. And let me give you an illustration. You will listen more to stories rather than presentations. I was a pastor in a church and that was from Ponte City. I met this chapter. A new graduate from Mountain View was accepted as my assistant, and he was in charge of evangelism. He was hired by the church, and uh, when I arrived, he was already three months working there. He was working for three months already in the church. And the church board complained. What was the complaint? They said, you know, Pastor, our evangelist has been working for three months, but he has no Bible students. He has no he was still under the profession when I took personal evangelism. I said, how come he did not do that? Maybe he was absent. So I called his attention. Now he's a director. I said, the church board has complained, but now you are not recommending any Bible student for baptism. You know what he said? You know, Pastor, I told the church to give me Bible students. I wanted to give Bible studies. Someone. Unfortunately, he did not know how to find someone. No. So I told him one strategy. Okay, so I will give you my message. So I made a letter, an invitation letter. I invite one invitation letter. You send 100 invitation letters, 50% will come. So if you send 100 invitation letters, you expect 20 participants. I'll give you the materials. Say the video. In Malati, that's what they use. In the video, we distribute the video. But it was tied up and it was tied up and it was tied up. The Bible study has main parts, three main parts, the introduction, and then the body, the activity. Yesterday, my wife asked me, They have a separate course in the elementary setting itself. They asked me about all four kids. It was a hard decision. What about that? Okay, so you have the introduction. The search on your application. The body does the main issue. And then the conclusion. The main one, this one, the main issue, the main issue. In my book. Yeah. We know, we know, we know.
Kung ito yun na nag-toothbrush ka. Okay? Of course, you open the Bible. When you hold your Bible like this, you hold it like this. Yung, ano ba tawag ito? Invitation picture. Okay. Nakaglanyan siya dapat. Saka dito. Para hindi siya dipan. Kasi pag nag-dipan siya, hindi mo namin yung original text to mawala ka. Ang iwi, yung trouble. So, siya naman. Siya naman. Ano na nilalang mo siya niya? So, dapat nakaipit siya. Na hindi siya dipan. Pag hindi mo memorize. Kasi you are dependent on the whole note. Yung check mo. So, when you open the Bible, of course, you have the middle prayer. You ask the question. First question, you let the student find the text. That's very important. If you if you cannot find, help the student find looking at the text. And then, allow the student to read the Bible, the Word of God. Is that clear? According to the Lord, when the Bible student reads the Word of God, the Holy Spirit, Presses the top. That's very important. So do not read it for yourself. You are memorizing it. You are not the student to read the word of God. And then, after reading, restate the question. What is the purpose of God? Allow for an answer. Why is that important? Do not answer your own question. What is the purpose of God? Jump for the day you want to do. Let not your heart be troubled. Don't think right now. The promise is, I will come again. Why is that important? You see, the concept of changing the mind of the Father depends upon the power of God to the world. So when you allow the person to think, learning is this, learning is this. So that never mind if he does not understand, repeat the person's thought according to the text there, what does he say? You are asking actually the person to think and analyze it. And you will measure that he understands what he is reading. That's the important thing you are reading. But some person will just ask the question, Answer the whole question and then preach the whole throughout the session. Learning is better than it's shallow. I tell you, they are coming. If it does enter them, that's what it is. It does not enter into the thoughts of the person. So after that, if the person then briefly describe or explain the text, go to the next, ask question, allow them to read. Take the question, allow them to answer, proceed to the next step, and summarize, proceed to the later on, and the conclusion, as the Jesus said, do you believe that Jesus is coming based on what we have said? What do you think? They say yes. The problem is, if he says no, the other problem is, if he says no, I don't believe. I would like to get this piece of paper. Allow the person to accept the answer. You believe Jesus is coming. So if he says yes, you have no problem. That's it. That's the one. But if the problem is that if the Bible student says no, I don't believe. You have a problem. And we don't have time, maybe, during the 